Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Skoda Superb. This is the car that lives up to its name. The new Superb looks stunning with its sharp lines and follows the same design language as its younger sibling Octavia. And it does look like a larger Octavia. The lights apparently has been inspired by Bohemian crystal glass. The upcoming new Rapid will also follow the same design language. Great job by Joseph Kaban, the designer. The new Superb comes in two trims, Style and LNK. The Style trim itself is loaded with plethora of features and what we are looking at is the top of the line LNK variant that comes with features like stone beach perforated leather with piano black accents, ambient lighting, virtual pedal and content sound system. can like modify completely we have all the features here okay for example electronic stability control you manually also you can activate and tire sort so okay so tire pressure so things and all those things you can uh, for example if you set the tire pressure it should be like this or something if any of the tires are losing the pressure okay. you automatically get this will be its own and apart from that speed warning also you can have it and uh, speed warning at what speed you want 10 20 30 40 okay. 130 it gives you the beep sound again. One fifty kilometers what I said. Driver assistance. Driver assistance is nothing but it, what happens if any new driver is driving the car. So the car will start sensing the driving style of the driver. Okay. For example, after a certain speed, if the driver is feeling drowsy or anything like that, then if there is any drastic changes in the driving style or anything like that, okay. it will give give you the beep, uh, beep or warning kind of thing it shows you that it shows you like time for a break uh, time for break or anything like that this is the future and parking and these things at uh, the park pilot park pilot in essence you can activate this thing okay. so the cameras and as well as front also and rear yeah. so apart from that automatic if you want it this to be like automatically activated. For example, if you go uh, to the basement or anything like that, all the times you can't be like switching on it and again switching it off. Okay. So if you go closer to any object, it starts giving you the uh, uh, this one, beep sound. Okay. And front volume, front tone settings mm -hmm. for the beep sound. What I'm talking. Okay. And the rear and rear volume and rear uh, tone settings. Well. Lights, switch on time how exactly you want, once it's done it should be immediate or early or medium or normally whatever you see and uh, automatic rain control in the uh, automatic headlamp control in the rain if you want that to be on okay. mm -hmm. otherwise if you want that to be off you okay. can okay. put it off daytime running lamps the LEDs mm -hmm. and convenience turn signal convenience turn signal this is the lane change indicators if you do want that to be there you can just for example 
all the time while overtaking or coming to the left or changing the lanes, you can't be putting the indicators and getting it off again. So here, once this is on, so once you just touch it, it blinks for three times and goes off. So apart from that, uh, travel mode, it's not applicable for India, right hand traffic or left hand okay. traffic. So instruments, lighting, 65% for the interior lighting. Okay. So you mean ambient lighting? Ambient lighting I'll show you. Coming home and leaving home functions are like, for example, in the night you, you you have a shed kind of thing or anything like that. So once you park the car, the button should be in the auto mode. Okay. So once you lock, once you lock the car, automatically the headlamps will turn on for 10 seconds time. Okay. That helps you to come out of the place or anything like that. And again, once you unlock the car as well, the automatic automatically the headlamps goes on for 10 seconds. Time. So this is the background light. Uh, as of now, we can see uh, blue. blue. Uh, That's fine. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. You can change the colors as well. Warm white is the warm white is nothing but amber yellow and uh, green. Yeah. So these are the things what we have. Mirrors and wipers. Synchronized adjustments in the sense what happens in the range automatically the wiper will start up facing. Uh, okay. And according to the speed also. And lower while reversing, once you put the uh, vehicle to the reverse, the left mirror will automatically come down. Okay. And fold when parked, once you lock the car, automatically uh, the mirrors will be folded. Automatic wipers in the rain. That option is also there. Opening and closing. For, for the windows, you want all the windows to be wind down on mm -hmm. one button or only the driver window. Mm -hmm. Those options are there. And door unlocking, only the door, driver door or all the doors. Single door or all the doors. And these things. Easy open in this case. Okay. So, in your finger it swipes. Yeah. And the seats, what happens? For example, you have a shuffer or you have your brother and for example, you using one key and uh, another person is using one key. Okay. So, uh, once you sit in the car, if you set a memory for your seat, what happens? Once you unlock in your key, automatically the seats come to your position. Okay. If he unlocks in his key, automatically the seats will go to his position. Okay. Instruments, clusters, for example, uh, multifunctional display. If you want, don't want something to be there, for example, average consumption, you don't want that to be shown in the mm -hmm. MID, okay. multi-information display. Eco tips, you want that to be shown there because, for example, just raise the accelerator. It will be always coming to like that. Okay. It will be the accident So if you do want that to be shown or something like that, you can just switch it off. Go okay. So distance travel, average kilometers. If you do want something to be there, speed mm -hmm. warning it shouldn't be there. Oil temperature mm -hmm. and reset since start. That trip meters, if you don't want that to be shown there, you can just switch it off. So time and date. So apart after that, uh, unit is there, kilometers or you want miles or anything like that, you can just make it. It's normally don't use in India. So service schedule, service it shows vehicle number. Vehicle number is, is the chassis number of the car. Okay. Inspection in 9,900 kilometers and or 650 days. Oil change service in 14,900 kilometers or 285 days. It gives you the warning we have. Okay. These are the fatigue signals. These are the main things. Hmm. Apart from that, here uh, like smart link is for the connectivity of the phone. Okay. This is the radio and this is the media. Hmm. And again images if you want to see something with it. Okay. Sound adjustments, mm -hmm. car settings, vehicle, phone, these are the things. Okay. And again, uh, the AC is from here itself. If you want to like increase the temperature rare or increase the distance, you know, if you want to lock it or anything like that, mm -hmm. so if you want to switch it off. Uh, and again, like uh, AC ventilated seats also. Mm -hmm. AC, yeah. Seat heating. Yeah, cooling. seat heating or cooling, whatever. You, if you want to increase the cooling, use your other AC. Yeah, also. AC is completely off. Space for holding your tab or anything like that. Oh, awesome. And it's a cool glass well. This is a pen holder. Yeah. We also have... Wow.
They also have the cup holders and as well as pen holders also. Okay. Engines have been carried out from the previous model and has been reworked to produce more power and efficiency. Transmission options for petrol are 6-pin manual or 7-pin DSG. The diesel comes with 6-pin DSG. So here are the numbers. The 1.8 TSI produces 180 PS of power and 320 Nm of torque with 6-pin manual and 250 Nm with 7-pin DSG. The 2 liter TDI makes 177 PS of power at 3600 to 4000 RPM and 350 Nm of torque available at 1500 to 3500 RPM. Safety features include adaptive front light system, multi-collision brake system, 8 airbags and many many more. As I mentioned earlier, the new Superb is loaded with features and do head over to our website to read more. And if you are in the market for a luxury sedan then I highly recommend you to go check out the new Superb. And as always guys make sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next one.